Hello compadres, hello comrades, hello friends, old and new, hello rude dudes, and hello rude dudettes. Welcome back to Better Minecraft Mine Colonies. My name is Jin, and uh, well, yeah, we're progressing with our colony pretty well. Thank you for joining us. First off, a huge thank you to my Patreon members as well, and my YouTube members. You guys make the wheels on the bus go round and round. So a big thank you to Joshua Ennis, Stone Age, Frosthound, and Eli Iliari. Also, of course, Defugal and Gatti. How's it going, guys? So let's jump in. Now, last episode, we tore up our keep. We uh, put down some animal pens, and we also got Israel started on building our house. However, he is taking freaking forever to uh, to dig up this this whole area. So we've kind of left him to it. Israel's going to take a long time to start digging through all this stuff, so we'll leave him to that. But in the meantime, we can at least prepare some of the things we want to put down inside our house. So let's take a look. Okie doke, so our house is going to need some very important workstations. It's going to need a sewing table, composters we can put outside, a smithing table for sure, definitely a crafting table. What else? It's going to need a waystone, in fact, so we dug this up when we found one of those towers out and about. If we put this thing down, and it's probably better to put it down sooner rather than later. It means when we go out exploring, if we find a waystone, we can teleport back no problem. So yeah, we'll have to put that down somewhere. We're going to need to put a smoker and a blast furnace down for sure. A bed is going to be very important. So also I want to add some more things to the farm. We found some cattails around. And these are great because these are used to make string. Uh, I'm not sure if we can replant them and get more. I don't think we can. I think they're more like a naturally occurring substance. But what we can do is put down some of these bamboo shoots and sugar canes that we have so that we can slowly start to farm those because again, they're things that Mine Colony needs down the line to build some of the harder to make things. Boom, so I've got my bucket. I has bucket. Where's the bucket? There's the bucket. Ooh, red oak sapling. Yeah, so now that we've got the red oak saplings, we can re-put down these beautiful red oak trees, so we don't need to worry about trashing them. Any ones we dig down, we can replant. So where do you think we should put down this bamboo? I reckon, um, let's try and put it down here. I don't know what bamboo needs to grow. I don't think it needs much. No, it doesn't really, does it? It doesn't need any water. I think you literally just put it down and it grows. Well, let's just leave it here and see if it grows. As for sugarcane, there isn't really enough room inside here for the moment. So what I'm going to do is just dig like a bit of a trench here, fill this up with water, and then put the sugarcane over here next to the fence. So where is the water? Ah, luckily enough, we're right next to like a big lake. So getting water is not going to be an issue. However, it's always good to have an infinite water source somewhere nearby. Especially considering we have a farm to think about. So let's build like a miniature well. And hey presto, bada bing bada boom, kablamo, we have a cool looking well. I like that. I like how it's got like a back as well. So we're also going to fill in this ugly little kind of patch of land here because we do have a bit of dirt on us. Dirt seems to be something that we don't have a shortage of in this series, which is great news. We, I wouldn't want to go to like a dirt supplier, like a third party dirt supplier, because those guys really rip you off. You know? Don't know if you guys have ever gone to a third party dirt supplier, but honestly, the rates they charge in this economy. Ah, oh, it's George Big Lips. What's going, George? Nice. See, you've had some work done there. Loving the Botox. That's a strong look, George. I recently met a guy called George, actually, at the pub, and uh, he was the worst Elden Ring player you've ever seen. He couldn't even beat the first boss, Soldier of Godric. So, pour one out for George. Man, it's so easy to get sidetracked, especially when I start thinking about George and Eld- Ooh, what the hell? Elizabeth, this is a well! Use the frickin' stairs! Now, that's a very good point, actually. So, colonists don't have to uh, use paths. I used to think that they tried to, but now I'm kind of thinking they just go anywhere they like. I mean, look at Elizabeth. She's just stomping around like nobody's business. No one's going to tell her what to do. However, some of the decorations that we tried to build for Mine Colonies have something called a waypoint in them. And I'm not sure exactly what that is or what it does. But let me show you. There we go. Waypoint placeholder. Check it out. So, 
If you know what a waypoint placeholder does or what a waypoint does for mine colonies, do let me know because, you know, I'm kind of keen and interested to find out, you know? Okay, let's put the sugar cane down now. Now, you don't have to worry. There's no apothe... Oh, yeah, look, so the bamboo does grow. Amazing. And we'll just trim this off. Perfecto. So you don't have to worry. There's no apotheosis mod. This uh, sugarcane isn't going to grow up to the heavens. It should stop at three blocks high, I think at least. But uh, I might be wrong. I probably am. What else is there to do? Well, oh yeah, there's one thing we should build that uh, that's quite important, and that's a cactus farm as well. We need some sand and the cactus. There we go, a stack of sand, that'll do. Oh, it is so peaceful, this forest. I don't know why, but for some reason, this series looks visually, graphically so much more impressive than my previous one. Oh, Arya Wick. I heard she once killed somebody with uh, a biro. Arwen DiCaprio, oh man. Leonardo gets all the hottest babes. So into the large chest up here, we're going to start putting the tools that we're going to put inside our new abode. The fletching table, armor stand, and uh, yeah. So, we've got sand. Let's make a mini cactus farm. We don't really need this pen here. It's only for decoration. So you know what, I think we're going to dig it up and make this purely utilitarian in here. This is going to go eventually because we're going to get a herder from mine colonies to... Uh, to herd the animals, and we're also going to build farms from mine colonies to take care of the crops. So this is purely a temporary building. Yeah, that's cool. So down go the two cactus. We'll start at the back, and then as these things grow, we'll bring them to the front and create this cool triangle of ta cacti. Cacti? Cacti. Cac cactus is. Okay, let's do a bit of farming. Gather up some cotton. Some carrots. Oh, and some ta potatoes are finally grown as well. That's great news. So I think we can actually use this potato to re-farm the crop here in the corner. Amazing. So, oh, let's make ourselves some new piggies. Now kiss. Hey, the parrots and the bats, the boids and the bees. Oh my god, whoa, 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 whoa. How did this happen? Not only did the pigs make three different piglets, they also made a black one, a pink one, and a yellow one? Come on, boys, it's your time to shine. Make me loads and loads of little lambykins. Oh, what? Okay, so sheep are not as cool as pigs. They only have one baby at a time. But cows, you guys are cool, right? Go on, have, have a lot of little cows. Oh, no, they are also pretty uncool and only have one little babby. So that's weird. The dog I'm getting, um, Summer, as she may be called, is actually a litter of eight. She's She was the biggest one as well. We went to see the, the owner and she was like, oh yeah, these are my dogs. And because uh, obviously she was uh, from Winterfell. And so the immediate one I said is like, which is the best dog? And she was like, oh, bloody hell, Ned. Well, I'll tell you, your name is Ned, right? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm, my name isn't, isn't Ned, it's Paul. So, oh, well, seven hell, seven hells, Ned. The best dog is, uh, is this one here, this fat one. I was like, what, the fat one? I was like, yeah, I've been feeding it, feeding it pork chops and, and beef burgers, Big Macs, Big Macs, pizza crunch. And uh, I, I was alarmed at first. I thought dogs couldn't really eat that kind of stuff. But no, apparently, if you, if you, no, no, don't feed dogs fast food. Feed them normal food. But I am getting the fattest pup. Uh, it's a girl called Summer. And yeah, I, I just love it. I love that she's going to be a, a chubby, a chubby puppy. I am going to feed her responsibly. Don't worry. She's going to be uh, well fed, but not too well fed. You know what I mean? But yeah, she's a chunky pup. Where was I? So the cactus is down, the sugar cane's down, the bamboo is being farmed as well, and already growing, already seeing gains and yields from that. 
everything's kind of coming up Millhouse. We're going to wait with the sheep until we have a lot more to start colouring them so that we can shear them to get different coloured wool. But for now, yeah, everything's going pretty well. Wow, these sheep are voracious though. Look, they are chomping away at this grass like nobody's business. I might have to extend these pens out a little bit further backwards so these guys have enough grass to eat. And let's go and check on our boy, old Israel. Now he's, he's gone missing. I think he's on a siesta. And again, it is taking him freaking forever to build our house. I just want to move in. So there are a couple of things we can do while we wait for Israel to dig our house. Because our captive dude over here is in the region, the building should probably still go on. So what that means is I can go down deep underground and see if I can find my first diamond. Let's try and do that. Now before we go down there, let's see if we can make ourselves a backpack because obviously the first mining trip we're going to need a lot of storage to carry all of our valuable loot. So I'll put this down in here for the time being. It's only temporary, don't worry. Now if I remember rightly, we need uh, some stuff. We need some stuff. Let's get some stuff. So a backpack, we need sewing spool and shears. We should have the bits for that. We'll need some iron for some shears. Sewing spool is string and sticks. So we're gonna need some tanned leather. We tan leather by binding leather in the sewing table and then smelting it. So let's go and grab the leather that we have. We could make some more leather by, you know, having a go with one of our cows, but you know what, they're not ready yet. We need to breed a lot more before we can start sparing them. All right, all right, so we bind the leather in the set. Oh my god. Wait, one spool per leather? Who would think of tying leather up? Well, not me, not anymore, it's so expensive. We do get lots of cotton though, so it's probably not that bad. So this is all pretty mundane watching this happen, but it is pretty cool. So we'll take the shears out of the sewing table now because we need to borrow those. And we need to borrow some of this wool from these guys as well, because that's right, we're going to make a white backpack. And it's always good to shear these sheep anyway, keep them nice and healthy, because in the summer, sheep get too hot as it is. So, you know, it's a good practice. Wait, where did I put that? Where did I put the wheat? I think I can breed some more of those rude dudes. So we're going to make a backpack, put the shears back in here, put the leather there, Tanned leather on the left, white wool there, ho ho ho, a backpack. It's only got 18 slots, but I think we can upgrade it by putting in pockets. Let's take a look. Sewing spool is used for, here we go, large pocket is some diamonds. Medium pocket is some gold. And that adds six slots. We do have a block of gold. That could be a great use for our gold. Gold ingots, medium pocket, ho ho, can be attached to backpack at sewing table. Ho ho ho, and now our backpack has 24 slots, but what is this backpack and how does it work? So it's on my hotbar at the moment, and if I right click, it opens. Oh, whoa, look at this, so I can put it down on the floor, that's amazing. And then right click, and it acts like a pseudo chest. Shift right click and I get, what the hell is this? What a... So how do I dig it up? Okay, perfect. Wow, what a, what a useful mod. Okay, so we're ready to go on our mining adventure now, see if we can track down a diamond. What's Israel doing? Uh, yeah, Israel is still digging. So down we go. So this is level 40, which is a great level to find things like copper, I guess, and iron. But no, we're going deeper. We've got to go deeper. We've got to dig deeper. Now, fingers crossed, we do not dig ourselves into lava, because that would be terrible. Okay, let's get some clay. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh my god, a goblin trader! How? Firstly, why? 
Why is he in this hole? How's... Do they live in clay? Oh, man, look at this. <gasps> These are some insane trades. He will trade apples for emeralds, gravel for flint. No way. Oh, my God, don't go anywhere, son. I've got some trades for you. Let me go and get my apples because I can turn that into a stack of emeralds. <gasps> That's nuts. Is he still here? Yeah, looks like he's still here. I should have checked what else I could trade with him, but honestly, I just got so carried away. So is he going to have like a fixed number of emeralds and he can't trade anymore? No? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, looks like he's done with that. What else can I trade then? Gravel for flint. That's a raw deal. I could get some sponge. I, I, I think sponge is impossible to get unless you trade for it. Well, that could be good. Whoa, look at this. A diamond pickaxe and he'll... Wait, he'll trade fortune three and a diamond pickaxe for fortune four. Whoa, unbreaking three. And there we go, mischief managed. So we're just going to leave him to it as well. I don't think we need anything else from this goblin guy, but honestly, that was an amazing way to get 24 emeralds. What a crazy haul. Now we'll hollow out an area down here, and this is going to be like our, our makeshift base camp for the mine, which we can dig out from. Zinc or... Oh, of course, we have create mod. That's going to be fun to use. Whoa! Oh, look, the map updated. And... Oh. Only my mini-map. Why did my mini-map update? Ah, because I'm underground. So, take a look. Oh my god, there's a massive lava lake in this direction. Oh, it's almost like fate. It's perfect. And a lava lake is important because around the edge is pretty much a guaranteed way to get loads and loads of diamonds. Let's torch it up. There we go. Now you guys at home can see as well as I can. What's this stuff? Dripstone. What is dripstone? Ah, here we go. Yeah, look at this. Whoa. A massive underground lava chasm. This is perfect. I could not have asked for a luckier thing to find. What's that purple stuff over there? Oh, I don't know, but it looks very cool. Well, okay. Let's start to build like a staircase down so we can get down safely. Oh man, can you hear that echo effect as well? This has got so many amazing quality of life improvements that just add just a little bit of panache and a bit of sparkle to the game. Okay, so we're going to put down some ladders here. This is important because if we get chased by creepers and skeletons and things, we can just go up the ladder and I don't think monsters can use ladders. Maybe they can. It's, <laughs> I don't know if they can or not. I'm going to bank on them not being able to use ladders. So the first thing we need is iron, because we need an iron pick to actually get some of these materials. Like redstone needs an iron pickaxe for one. What's this stuff on the left? Glow lichen. Deep slate coal. Nice. Oh, I'm glad I dug that coal, because there we go, our first diamond. Let's get what we need to craft this bad boy. So, right next to the... Where, where are we? Right next to the... Uh, we'll light this up with loads and loads of torches, so we absolutely definitely be able to see it from miles away. And then right here, we're going to put a furnace. We've got some coal, which we've just found. In goes the iron ore. Okie dokes, there's three iron ore. Let's turn this into a pickaxe. Oh baby, time to go shopping. We're gonna open our backpack, clear up some space. fan frickin tastic Now while we're down here, we're gonna get a bucket of lava. Why? Because, well, I don't know, we don't need it yet, but it will come in handy at some point. Even if we just wanna make like a cobble generator or uh, anything really. So, redstone ore. Very important stuff here. More important for mods than for vanilla Minecraft, really, though, isn't it, redstone? Unless you're getting, like, super technical. Oh, this stuff's the juice. Really juicy stuff. Oh. Oh, no. 
Oh, amazing. Free obsidian. Oh, that's a very good point. So we can use a bucket and lava to make another portal without being able to dig up obsidian. Whoa, that's a really cool effect. There's just loads of good stuff lying around here. So, video games. Now that I've got an upgraded piece... So, video games. Now that I've upgraded my PC and it's an absolute badass and I can play any game known to man... I mean, I could play them all before, it's just nothing was really that taxing except modded Minecraft. It's weird how modded Minecraft is the most... Well, modded Minecraft with shaders is the most demanding computer game you can ever possibly play. It kind of doesn't really make much sense, but it is what it is, right? But I've installed Cyberpunk because, uh, yeah, time to give that another go with max settings. Oh, yeah. But beyond that, I can't really think of any other games that really kind of push the limits of a PC. I know that... Ooh, more diamonds. Wow, what a lucky haul. I know that Crisis is the meme, right? Crisis is supposed to be so badly optimized that you need a massively beasty PC to run it. But can you guys think of any other tricky games that look really amazing if you have a beast PC? Do let me know. Oh man, loads of diamonds. This is amazing. How is this vein so big? This is like four diamonds. Five diamonds attached to the same vein. That's crazy. That's crazy. I didn't know they could do that. Well, let's push on. Now, do you know what is also really funny? I'm so used to playing modded Minecraft with loads and loads of different types of ores that I honestly thought that we'd really, really, really need a backpack. But the truth is... The only stuff I'm really finding that I really need is just like diamonds, coal... Iron ore, gold ore, but there aren't like a million different types of ore, so I don't need that much space in my backpack. Still, it is really good to have this because, man, I have used a lot of space. Let's just block in this lava and get even more diamonds. I think we're going to go home with like 10 diamonds. That's crazy. I might even be able to make myself some diamond armor and not feel guilty about wasting diamonds. One thing, numero uno, though, one thing that's very important is going to be a diamond pickaxe. Now, that's one thing in Villa Minecraft that you should probably always craft, right? A diamond pickaxe lasts almost forever. It's very durable. Underground squid? Is this a thing? Is this real? Oh, no, look, they, they spawned literally inside this puddle. What the hell? That's so weird. Well, don't mind if I do. I could probably use this stuff. So, a couple of stacks of redstone, some diamonds. Let's make a diamond pick and see if we can go home with some obsidian. If we can get ten obsidian, well, that's it. That's the dream, right? Okay, time to dig up some obsidian. Oof, it's not the quickest of stuff to dig, is it? Ten hours later. Whoa, what is this? This is some kind of dungeon. I can feel it. Up there. What is that up there? There's cobblestone. There's... Oh, there's a chest. Looks like we're going up, boys. We're going to go and find out what's up there. Luckily enough, I've got some spare ladders. That should be perfect. Oh, now you know what? This is where the monsters are going to be. Inside this weird kind of... Well, dare I say it, Stronghold? Could we have found the end already? Minecraft speedrun confirmed. So this is cobblestone, which means it was put down by some kind of structure. So let's just keep digging this and see what we can find. Quite the renovation. What does this mean? Find an upgraded monster room. What does that mean? I mean, it looks pretty broken to me. A foul banner. That's a cool looking banner. So there's a furnace with nothing in. And a chest. Here it is. The real juice. Oh yeah, look at this. Whoa! There is a new music disc. With a song I've never heard before. Beetroot seeds, iron horse armor, gold ingot, gold apple, wheat. That's all great stuff. So this was the upgraded monster room, I guess. It spawned half in the floor. And, uh, yeah. Amazing! I guess the monster spawner just didn't really appear. 
I think we got really lucky with this. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, looks like an emerald. Nice. Now, not super nice because we did just trade basically uh, apples for emeralds to some stupid goblin. Didn't know what, uh, you know, what the value of emeralds was. I feel like maybe that goblin is like the goblin version of Jack and the Beanstalk. Goblin Jack and the Beanstalk and his dad sent him off to trade the emeralds for like uh, some food. Well, and technically he did come back with some apples, so maybe that's it. Maybe gems and jewels are not valuable to goblins who live in the ground, but what is valuable is food that you can only grow above ground. Yeah, that makes sense, eh? Deep, deep, deep chat for this Minecraft episode. And here we go, the circle is complete and I have returned. I've done a lap. Oh, looks like I missed a few diamonds along the way, but you know what? I've got so many, I really don't care. Look at my backpack. I have... 22 diamonds. Not quite enough for a full set of armor, but you know what? It's a pretty good start. Well, let's take a look and see what our builder has done in our absence. Luckily enough, Strawfingers has been keeping an eye on him. Kind of. Oh, he hasn't done much, has he? What's his deal? Did he run out of pickaxes? We stuck underground a little bit. Where is he? What's his problem? What's your problem, Israel? Oh, he's still, he's still hard at work. Oh, my God. Luckily, oh, man, the bamboo, though. This stuff's coming up. Coming up. Millhouse. Oh, I love the sound of that breaking. Oh, so good. Music to my ears. Man, so what an episode. Thank you for joining me on this mining extravaganza. I really hope that Israel would have built the house by now. But he is just taking so freaking long. But nobody wants to watch Israel dig dirt for two hours, so I'll see if I can get that completed before next episode. Thank you for watching. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon members, subscribers, YouTube members, everybody that comments, everybody that hits like, everybody that just watches the episode. Thank you so much, guys. I love you to bits. Until next time, though, take care.